Let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks. <sighs> Go Hawks! Yes, uh, the Seahawks, 10-6 and six last season. I want to emphasize this is a running football team. You know it, but do you know it the way these numbers know if it? If you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. All right, the Seahawks last season. 2,092 rushing yards. Mind you, that is running back. That is not rolling Russell Wilson into it. The Rams, the 49ers, the Saints, and Broncos were behind them. They ran for 160 yards per game. 130 was the running back, so 30 of that was Russell. This team wants to run, run, run some more. There is more than enough opportunity for multiple running backs to have top-tier fantasy value. Yeah, Chris I mean, Carson, Rashad Penny, we want to split them up. Mentally, we want to pick a favorite. Maybe the answer is both. Yeah, it very well could be both. When I was doing my rankings at the beginning of the season uh, or the beginning of the, the off season, I, I took a look. You know, we, I, We're we not putting players in order. We're actually statting out the entire team and looking at all their matchups and everything. And, and at the end, I looked at where I had these guys in my rankings, and I was shocked that I had them – Chris Carson and Rashad Penny back to back as far mm. as their finish on the season because while I still give the the lion's share to Chris Carson who if you don't remember how mu how much he got the ball when he was healthy he would have topped Zeke on total carries uh, you know if, if he played a full 16 games so he's going to have the lion's share there but on a pass catching basis I think Rashad Penny has the skills to do that, you have Mike Davis. Mike Davis last year had 42 targets, 112 rushing attempts. Those are gone. And you have Chris Carson with a current injury and an injury history. So I, I think both backs are good picks. I'd be happy to scoop up Chris Carson and hope I've got you know a lead dog, and I'd be happy to scoop up Rashad Penny and say I've, I've got a pass-catching option who's a weekly start, and if, if – Chris Carson goes down, which we've seen him do several times, could be a league winner. Would you rather in the fourth round, though, knowing that you like both of these guys? There's There currently is a two-round difference between Chris Carson and Rashad Penny. They're both going at the back of their respective rounds, fourth round, sixth round. Would you rather take somebody else in that fourth round that 100%. you really like and then just reach a round? Yes. I, it, it, I would. Whoa, now. <laughs> I had my uh, face perked up. Oh, you got to go to YouTube for that one. Um, the YouTube on that one is so special. What right Mike now, YouTube.com slash the fantasy footballers. He wants to know if you're willing to reach around. <laughs> uh, are um, you willing to reach around? Let it undo. I am willing to – I'm willing to reach two rounds, I would say, just to be safe. <laughs> just um, to be safe. So You are? Yeah. So, no. Uh, no, 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 no. One. I reach, just had to – this is all just wordsmith here. Here's the reality. So, like, I, I say Chris Carson could be a value. He certainly could be a value in the fourth. That being said, other great players are in the fourth round. I mean, we just talked about some of those wide receivers <laughs> that are in the fourth round. Yeah. I mean, you tell me if Robert Woods and Chris Carson are there, I'm going Robert Woods all day. Two rounds later at the back of the sixth to be able to get Rashad Penny, I'm very happy to do that. But it's a roster construction thing, right? If you start with wide receivers – I think in the fourth round, Chris Carson isn't necessarily a bad pick. Is my point? There okay. was no, there were no other running backs in football that finished three consecutive weeks to end the year in the top seven, and that's what Chris Carson did at the end of last year. And thank goodness for it. That was like a deposit that he is able to cash in on for my injury doubts or like concerns about being usurped. I'm thankful that he was so good to finish the year, so that I could have confidence in him. I think both players are going to be very valuable. I believe that. Pete Carroll has a great trust in Chris Carson. Yes. And I think you're going to see both players with huge opportunities because obviously Pete Carroll invested in Penny in the top of the first round. Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.